Hey there, welcome back to Clip Studio Paint Quick Tips. My name is Scott Drummond. I'm a comic artist and illustrator. Today, we're going to be learning how to automate simple, repetitive tasks in Clip Studio Paint with auto actions. But hey, this is Quick Tips, so let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. Making art in Clip Studio Paint can sometimes feel like a labor of love. And while you can't set up automation to like draw a character over and over for you, there are some repetitive tasks that don't require any artistic flair. Take setting up a document, for instance. I know that every page, I'm gonna draw some thumbnails, I'm gonna pencil the thumbnails, I'm gonna ink those pencils, and I'm gonna make some flat colors under that. And I do that every page without fail. Do I really have to go through the hassle of like clicking around and typing in every new layer name every time I want to start a new page? Thankfully, the answer is no. You can create an auto action to set up a page just the way you like it every time. Just open a new document and go to Window, Auto Action to pull up the Auto Action panel. Clip Studio Paint already has a few cool auto actions included, but for this, we're gonna make our own. Click the New Auto Action button at the bottom of the panel and name our new auto action, New Page Setup. Down below, hit the Record button. Now everything we do in Clip Studio Paint will be recorded into our action until we hit the Stop Recording button. So now, let's make our Page Setup action. Go to Layer, New Layer, roster layer, and name our new layer thumbnails. I'm gonna make sure this is a gray layer to get a nice sketchy quality out of it. I like to differentiate my thumbnails from my sketch layer with color, just to keep better organized. In the layer property panel, click the layer color button. I like my thumbnails to be red, so I'm gonna click the layer color and change it to red. We're gonna do the same thing for our sketch layer, but I'll keep the standard blue for this one. Since we want a flats layer under our inks layer, We'll make a new roster layer for that too, and set that to be a color layer so we can, well, color it. For my inks layer, I like to use monochrome mode, so I'll change that setting here. Now that we're all set up, just hit the stop recording button, and we're done. Now when you open a new document, you can just hit the play button and never have to worry about setting up your page ever again. And of course, auto actions aren't just limited to page setup. If you find yourself asking, why do I do this over and over and over again? it may be time to set up a new auto action. All right, hopefully that was helpful. If it was, make sure to hit that thumbs up button down below. And make sure to hit subscribe too to get more great Clip Studio Paint quick tips. Thanks so much for watching. Now get out there and automate some great comments.